Hello, 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 everybody. It is Matt, and it is Scary Saturday, and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that lovely stuff, because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when you are here. I know I'm here an awful lot, but I have an awful lot on my plate to review. And last and foremost, check out the description box. I give you a bigger bite of every single movie of every single day, such as your brief synopsis, starring cast, director, runtime of the cut I am watching, along with a link for where you can watch this bad boy for free. Now that I got all that said, mind all that out of the way, let's roll on to the film of the day. And today's is a fun one. It came out back in 2022. It is the Friday the 13th fan film known as Victim No More. All right. Now, like I said, this is not rated. It runs at 40 minutes. It stars Hans Paul Hendrickson, Deanna Naja, uh, Joe Winchell, and Sean Jordan. And James Tufrelli. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I uh, murdered your name there a little bit. But uh, either way, this is a very fun little movie. I got uh, everybody listed in the credits as well. Um, or in the uh, description box. So if, if I didn't say your name, your name is in there for sure. Um, if you are starring cast. Um, but uh, anyways, let's get on to what this movie is about. Uh, it's about a guy, a young kid who um, I'm guessing is is uh, early 20-ish, um, decides um, to go to Camp Crystal Lake to face his fears because his family is a uh, our um, survivals are, are people that survived from the uh, Crystal Lake massacre from from none other than our good friend Jason Voorhees. Um, he's going there, like I said, to face his fears, prove to his family that he is not, um, gonna let this get to him, that he is stronger than, than his willpower is stronger than theirs, in other words, um, and, and that he's, he has no fear with it. Now, while this is going on, there is a group of friends going down there to camp. Um, they uh, uh, are going there with, um, I don't know if I'd say good intentions or bad intentions, but uh, they were going there to kind of check things out at Camp Crystal Lake as well. Um, eventually, you know, they, the, uh, one of the guys comes up and tries to pl he plays a little trick as where he's dressed as Jason and which by the way Jason is really cool looking in this he is all rotten rotten and and uh uh really just deformed and just the the bones are showing and it's really cool I really like this version of Jason um but the one thing is is the guy with that was dressed like Jason earlier had the hockey mask Jason did not decided not to don the hockey mask. He 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 decided to wear the uh, the good old fashioned uh, burlap sack across his face with the one eye hole slit in it. Um, but now uh, he he offs people left and right. Uh, it, it gets quite cool. It has a very nice twist ending. Um, the end I I did not see coming. Um, but then again, that's, that's what it's all about. Uh, I'm curious to see what part two will bring to the plate because there is a sequel to this. I think maybe two sequels if memory serves me. Um, but either way, I'll, I'll be reviewing those in the future as well. Um, now under the three things that I love my movies to meet. First is the audio. The audio is very good in this. There's no, uh, outside interference, static, back feed. Uh, nothing, nothing that's going to cause any kind of, uh, of, um, interference throughout the entire film. It, it's done on par rather, rather well. Um, so I'm going to give it an A there. Uh, dialogue. Dialogue is pretty good for the foremost. I don't see anything really wrong with it. I think that it, 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 uh, delivers on, on what it's supposed to do. Um, 
I really uh, feel like this is also the way most people would talk and act as well. Granted, this is two years old, but still, people still talk that way. You know, we haven't uh, moved past that that uh, dialogue uh, type like that in, in our, our films or even in life yet. Not unless you're the young crowd and you say words that don't make sense. Maybe, or maybe I'm just too old. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, that dialogue, I'm going to give it an A there. On to the uh, editing, which is the third thing. The editing is very smooth. It has a nice steady forward momentum. It has great pacing. Doesn't get, get boring at all throughout the entire thing. Um, I absolutely loved it. I think that it ran for the right amount of time. It didn't overstay its welcome. It just really, really played played along really well. So I'm going to give it another A. And now on to my final score of 1 through 5. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. It is definitely one that I one of my favorite fan films that I've touched so far. And I hope that you guys uh, hop on and check it out. It's perfect for this time of year. <sighs> Alright guys. Love your faces. And as always. Peace.